Welcome back, and yes, I am outside for once. I think this is the first video that I have attempted to do outside because it's the middle of September, blue skies. It is fantastic out. I'm outside the Saddle and Arena, of course, the home of the Barry Colts. And there was some news that just broke about Shane Wright. He's the Seattle Kraken prospect. He was drafted fourth overall uh, in uh, 2022. And he's been given some uh, exceptional status, something that's never happened before. The Canadian Hockey League agreeing to allow him to play in the American Hockey League this upcoming season if he's not able to make the Seattle Kraken lineup. And that's huge news because there is the agreement with the Canadian Hockey League when players are drafted out of the CHL uh, that if they don't play in the National Hockey League, then they go back to their junior teams and that agreement is basically to help franchises uh, out like if they can have their top talent in their lineup that helps with attendance and it just helps with the players development at the junior hockey league level uh, but with Shane Wright he is uh, of course uh, a unique uh, player with uh, what's happened over the last few years of course he played two seasons with the Kingston Frontenacs had a couple of great years his second year in his draft year had 94 points but remember, Shane Wright, he was given uh, exceptional status coming into the Ontario Hockey League as a 15-year-old. But because of the COVID pandemic, it wiped out the one season. He only got two out of a possible three. And you got to figure that's a part of the reason why he dropped from being number one in the draft and then falling to Seattle at number four. And last year was a bit of an up and down year. He started with the Kraken, didn't make the lineup quite a bit, quite often. He was usually a healthy scratch. And you know that's going to affect a young player's uh, abilities to you know, learn and grow at the professional level. So they did uh, send him down on an emergency loan to Coachella Valley, the Firebirds. And he only played eight regular season games last year before finally coming back to the Ontario Hockey League just before the trade deadline. Very similar to Barry's Brant Clark. And uh, you may remember that uh, for Shane Wright, he was traded at the deadline to the Windsor Spitfires. He appeared in 20 games and still registered 15 goals. So Shane Wright, quite the talent. He, mind you, uh, in four games in the postseason, he manages one goal and three assists as uh, the team was swept by the Kitchener Rangers and then went and played for Coachella Valley and went all the way to the AHL final. But if you look at his numbers, uh, he played very sparingly. He wasn't getting uh, top six minutes with the Firebirds. And you have to wonder, how is that going to affect his growth going forward for this year? Uh, the question was, does he play in Seattle, Coachella Valley, or does he come back to the Ontario Hockey League? And the CHL has determined uh, that he will go to the American Hockey League. And I don't know, I'm kind of the opinion that if he can't make the National Hockey League, why not put him in the Ontario Hockey League? Where, yes, he'll probably dominate. He would get uh, probably leading goal scorer with the OHL if he ended up back at junior. But you have to figure that might be better for his development than just playing bottom six minutes uh, with either the Kraken or the Firebirds. But you never know. He might be able to have an, a great season. He might be able to make that Kraken lineup. Seattle looking very good. Uh, they made the postseason last year in the National Hockey League, and they've got uh, Matty Beniers and company. Uh, so Shane Wright, he's going to have a great career ahead of him. It's just with this exceptional status, uh, you know, what would happen if Brant Clark didn't make the LA Kings this year? He he showed how talented he is. Uh, he's too good to be in the Ontario Hockey League as well. So I'm sure for Brant Clark, he will make the LA Kings this year. He won't be back in Barrie. Uh, but you have to wonder, is this uh, going to start opening uh, a can of worms for the Canadian Hockey League that we're going to start to see more players given the option to go to the American Hockey League? And I think that it is good for some players. We saw that with Tyson Forrester during the pandemic year ended up playing with Lehigh Valley Phantoms before eventually uh, dressing for the Philadelphia Flyers. So I think it's something that we can uh, maybe explore a little bit more. Is this something that you would like to see that uh, these star players that can't quite make it to the National Hockey League uh, maybe uh, allowing them to play in the American Hockey League. Let me know your thoughts. I know Shane Wright, a uh, very controversial figure uh, in uh, the hockey circles, but uh, it's going to be interesting to see. So he has been given uh, permission from the Canadian Hockey League, according to reports, uh, that if he doesn't make Seattle, he'll be playing for Coachella Valley. So let me know what you think down below, and uh, remember to hit like and subscribe, and that lets me know if uh, these are videos that you want to see having, ha uh, keep happening uh, with these news updates uh, that involve the Ontario Hockey League. So that's it for me. I'm going to go back and enjoy some more of this sunshine, and uh, yeah, have yourself a great day.